Are you wondering how to make a recurring task in Asana? Well, if that's the case, then you've come to the right place because today I'm going to be showing you exactly what you need to do. And I'm also going to be providing you with some tips and suggestions along the way just to get the most out of this functionality. So what I've done here is I've just created a brand new project called Asana Tutorial. We've got uh, a couple of to do's and we want what, what we want to do is we want to make this task reoccurring to show you how to replicate it on your own account or your own project. So it's very, very simple. So what you need to do is you need to find the task that you want to make recurring. And of course we need a due date or you need to click on the due date column. Um, the icon you're looking for is this one here and it says set to repeat. Now, one of the best things about Asana and setting up recurring tasks is that you have the ability to set them up on a weekly, monthly, yearly, periodically, or custom basis. So basically, you can set them up to however you like. So let's just run through a couple of use cases. So let's say we wanted it to occur every Friday. We would obviously select the, the F. Obviously, these stand for the days of the week, Saturday, Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So let's say we wanted it to be, you know, let's say this was a producer report every Friday. We would select Friday and then you'd obviously put in the first date you wanted it to start. So what is, so today's date is the 27th. Let's just say as an example, it's the 1st of July. Obviously the date of recording, this may be in the past when you're watching this video. That's what you'd do there. If you wanted it to occur three times a week, let's say Monday, Wednesday and Friday, of course you would just check them as well. Um, and then you also need to make sure you, you change your start date if you wanted it to appear um, on that Monday. So it might even be today's date would be the start date in this example. Or you could have every day of the week. It may be some tasks require it. It might be something that you want. It may be even a project that you're managing to help kind of manage your own workflow. Um, so you could do that as well. If you wanted to um, repeat on a quarterly basis, let's just uncheck all this for now. Then what you want to do is you want to click on custom and here you get this extra option. So you or you can change it by week or by month. And that's what I probably should have said as well. If you wanted to set up a recurring task every week, you would do it from this uh, custom. Um, but you can also do it by month, as, as I just said. So let's say it was a task that needed doing at the end of every quarter. Um, so let's say the, let's go back to the start of the year. Um, let's say uh, so January, February, March, this would be the end of Q1. Uh, so it would have been Tuesday would have been the last day or uh, Thursday, I should say, 31st. Then if you wanted it every quarter, then you would set this every three months on day 30 or last. You'd want that as last. So that would be a recurring every quarter. If you wanted it on the last day of the quarter, obviously you could do this as the first day as well. That's the other option. You obviously number one. Um, and the other one would be something like biannually or you know every two times a year so you'd obviously do this as six months and then you would do the same thing on day first or last depending on what you needed now one final quick tip before i let you get on with your day um is that if at the moment this is just a, a parent task there's no subtask in here so let me just quickly add one actually just to show you what i'm talking about uh, so i've clicked the details button to do that and this is where we'd add the subtask so let's just put um make this task, um at a subtask is my subtask. So we're going to add that here. One thing you want to ensure you do is that you only, um, so let's just actually just make sure that's okay. So that's in there. You only want to set up um, recurring tasks on the parent level and not on the subtask level. Because otherwise, um, just, just the way Asana is designed, um, the subtask is basically going to duplicate exponentially and it's going to be really it's really going to mess up your project and be really really tricky to manage so it's just a quick tip there make sure you don't do that but other than that this was how to make a recurring task in asana i hope this video is useful if it was please do hit the like button that tells me i should continue producing videos like this and do consider subscribing and heading over to my channel as well uh, i've got a lot of videos on asana and I'm continuing to produce them all the time. So yeah, if you're learning Asana as a, as a new tool for you and your organization, then I would suggest you head over there. So with all of that said, I hope you have an excellent day.